us now uh, once again the newest member of the 13 Action News team. A pleasure uh, to welcome political analyst and expert John Ralston. Uh, John, what do you make of uh, just uh, today, today in general? Well, today in general was going very well uh, until, until the Nevada de delegation uh, chairman, Michael McDonald, who, by the way, I don't know if people know, he's a very controversial guy. The establishment in the Republican Party does not like him. The only people who like him are the people inside the party faithful uh, who voted for him to be chairman for three terms. He's in his third term. And that, the flub that we let's, just saw. Let's listen can to we this look, Can we see again, it again? Yeah. That, that was something else. We're very proud of our nation. From the great shores of Lake Tahoe to the most entertaining capital city, Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, to give him a little slack there, maybe he meant to say the entertainment capital of the world, but it just didn't roll off his tongue that like that. I don't think there's any doubt that he meant to say the entertainment capital of the world. Listen, you got to cut him some slack in the sense that he's in a huge uh, yeah. arena there, right, and millions of people watching on TV. But you think he might have practiced, and he might have said, well, wait a second, I didn't mean that. Uh, and I hate to go now and ask him the trivia question of what is uh, Nevada's <laughs> capital and see if he could come up with Carson City. But, it, I mean, this went, this went viral, and as, as you mentioned, Jimmy Kimmel has seven points. 0.8 million Twitter followers is a, is a Vegas guy. He grew up here. Uh, he was none too pleased too. By the way, that wasn't the only flub he had either. He also had the number of delegates that were voting for Trump wrong had to go and tell the secretary that he had the wrong number. A great day for Nevada and Cleveland. Uh, other than, other than <laughs> the, the late night political mm -hmm. fodder, it's just one of those things that just gets uh, blown off and and uh, into the, the the trash bin of political convention history. Oh, uh, of course, it's a, it's it's a footnote. It, it, it's humorous, but it's going to contribute to an impression. First of all, Nevada still has the <laughs> image problem, right? We're not taken seriously at sometimes, and it's going to reinforce with the Republican elites. I think that who is this guy who's the chairman of the Republican Party? And don't forget too, Nevada's status as an early state in the nominating process is at stake this time. So a lot of people are saying Colorado is going to take our place. I don't think this is going to help. Yeah, that won't help. Uh, <laughs> Hillary Clinton here in town. We'll talk about that coming up in our next segment because uh, there's some significance to that, picking of all places, Nevada to be here while the Republicans are in Cleveland. Tricia.